here for the seventh time in ten charity shields at Wembley, and they've never lost. Indeed, it was here in 1974 that Joe's predecessor, Bob Paisley, who's the FA's joint guest of honour today with Sir Matt Busby, started his amazing haul of 20 trophies in nine seasons. On the pitch, the team news shows that Liverpool have Phil Thompson in their back four and are using Mark Lawrenson in midfield, partly because Ronnie Whelan is injured. Ian Rush plays despite a recent recurrence of the groin strain which kept him out at the end of last season and his new partner in attack is Michael Robinson who starts where he left off with Brighton playing at Wembley against Manchester United and their new player is Arthur Graham signed from Leeds and at once a first choice flank player in the absence through injury of Steve Koppel and Alan Davis Davis broke his leg in a pre-season friendly but otherwise it's Manchester United's FA Cup final team with Ray Wilkins at number four because unlucky Remy Moses, who missed both matches against Brighton through suspension, is now out injured. The colours are as they were in the Milk Cup final. Manchester United in white shirts and black shorts, Liverpool in red. On a Wembley pitch which has had some new drainage inserted during the summer, you may see a bare patch on this near side. Mark Lawrenson well forward on the left side of midfield, which is where he will play. And Kenny Dalgleish flicking it into Ian Rush and almost getting the return. And the free kick given. But the Wembley pitch has had a fair amount of maintenance applied to it during the summer. And on our near side, the grass inside the touchline is bare while it grows a little slower than the rest. Get an idea from that, maybe. The area here. This is Dalglish. Now it's Sunis. Robinson. Well, those two know each other well. Here's Lee. Into Thompson. In for Rush. Shot by Thompson. Well, he's played in all those Wembley charity shields for Liverpool, Phil Thompson. So he knows the... Header by McQueen. Well, that was well played by Stapleton to Robson. White side. He drove Stapleton rather wide. Here's Muren. Was by Alan Kennedy. Wilkins got it back to Graham, whose cross came off Neil to Stapleton, and then Muren. An acrobatics from Grobelar. Cross by Muren. Dalgleish turns defence into attack. Rush. Good play. Michael Robinson just unable to reach it. How quickly Liverpool turned defence into attack, largely thanks to Kenny Dalglish. And halfway through the first half, Liverpool have the edge, but there's no score. Good touch by Stapleton, and Wilkins has got Brian Robson through. And the Manchester United captain opens the scoring in the 23rd minute. Liverpool caught on the break. And two men who captained England combined well there. On by Stapleton. And Whiteside. Whistle's already gone. Whiteside penalised. But a good spell this for Manchester United. Dalglish. and swings the ball across to Graham. There's been good use of the crossfield pass by Manchester United. Duxbury's coming up outside him, should he want to push it there. Support from Wilkins. Brian Robson, a forward, run into the penalty area. 
smart no doubt Kennedy it's a good run by Alan Kennedy and he's still forward there Robinson had the shot and the deflection takes it round for a corner good progressive play from fullback by Alan Kennedy as soon as Ian Rush ghosting in there little flick to Dalgleish and Kenny Dahl with a fine block it was Arnold Muren of all people Kennedy, Dalgleish, Lee, this hits Moran. Well, Arnold Muran, not renowned for his defensive qualities, maybe, but uh, that was an important challenge because Dalgleish seemed to be lining up the equaliser there. We're right at the end of the first half. Lawrenson comes in with the header, and Gary Bailey has made. It seemed his first miscalculation, but the linesman flagged to penalise Ian Rush. And the end of an entertaining first half, which ends with Brian Robson's goal, scored after 23 minutes, putting the FA Cup holders in the lead. And Ray Wilkins, who was saying to me just before the match, he's still totally uncertain about his immediate future. He supplied the pass, and we're in a position like the one in the Milk Cup final when United led at half-time and were eventually overhauled. Oh, well played by Muren. Such an artist when he's on form. Duxbury. Wilkins, and again, Whiteside, Muren, didn't get a hold of that though. There's Duxbury, oh, and Wilkins, first time to Arthur Graham. Wilkins again. Stapleton to Robson, he's through again. Can he make it two? He delayed this time. Wasn't quite so confident in going on. And enabled Grobelar to make a very easy save. Oh, what a misjudgment there by Phil Thompson. This is Stapleton, Wilkins. And Stapleton's flick. And had that gone in, only one Liverpool player could have taken the blame, not Bruce Grobelar. So a corner to United. McQueen gets a flick on, off the line, Robson bundled it in. Brian Robson got the final touch after Stapleton's effort had been cleared off the line. So the double substitution came too late, really, to change. Lawrenson up, and here's Kennedy. Well, that's become a pass. Johnston. Robson's header out. And Graham to Orbiston. Ray Wilkins making a forward run. Oh, if he could get this across to Whiteside on our right, it could be on for number three. But Grobelar knew exactly what was going to happen, and it's been fired back, and Whiteside is offside. <laughs> well, there was all sorts of activity there. Well, Robson got two goals in the FA Cup final replay, and he scored two again today. Oh, what a misjudgment. Stapleton away, it was Hansen's mistake. And Stapleton goes for a chip, 
And it's one of those positions there where players to his left were saying, we were there, you know, notably Whiteside and Robson, but uh, it's very easy from up here to say that. Good interception by Brian Robson. Look at this. Oh, now, Graham Souness, the professional foul. What will the referee do? Because the law, Brian Robson has said, don't send him off. I spotted that. Brian Robson appealed with the referee not to send off the opposing captain. He's got to be booked, obviously. But referees have been let off the hook a little bit this season, if they want to be, by FIFA insisting that England does not apply the rule so harshly about sending players off for that sort of incident and Alan Robinson has conformed with that change of direction to referees and merely booked Souness when last season he may have gone to Shield the first time they've won it outright United since 1957 pre-Munich and Joe Fagan sporting in defeat has to wait for his first trophy So two trophies now for Ron Atkinson's Manchester United. Sir Matt Busby was manager the last time Manchester United won the Charity Shield outright. And he has the privilege of handing it over to the modern captain and match winner, Brian Robson. being handed over Arthur Graham gets a reward there in his first main match for his new club Ray Wilkins played well today and Liverpool don't too often go up as losers pitch Manchester United celebrate the first trophy of the new English season so this familiar setting launches the new English season the two best supported clubs in the land made this a good occasion and it's Manchester United supporters who wave their flags. I just wonder who will be waving the scarves come next May. Brian, it's a nice habit, uh, the second trophy in your hands here at Wembley within a few months, and you're obviously getting to love the place. Give a little explanation about all these goals that are flying in for you. Yeah, it's just, um, I'm in a lucky run at the moment. The last three times I've played here, I've scored goals. Um, it's a bit of fortune, but it's good team play as well. I mean, I've been picked out with great balls from, uh, from my teammates. Um, and things are just going right for us at the moment. The second one was over the line and you did claim it, did you? Yeah, it was um, a big scramble in the goal mouth and Kevin Moran got a touch, Sammy Lane knocked it off the line. And then I hit it again, I think it hit Bruce Grobler, I went on to Sammy and uh, up into the net. Um, so all of our lads give me the goal, but I don't know whether Sammy wants to claim it. United's performance, Brian, it seemed to get more convincing as the game went along. Yeah, I think early on Liverpool had a few situations in the box which they might have capitalised on, but um, once we got over that, I thought we, uh, we started playing some nice football and uh, we created a few good chances. You know, I probably should have done a bit better with a header when I maybe could have pulled it down. That was after the goal. Um, but from then on, I, th I thought we played quite well. And a little assessment about the fact that United have now beaten Liverpool twice in the pre-season. All right, a friendly game and the charity city, a shield, but how important is that to you? Well, I think you can discount the Belfast game, really, because, I mean, on that day we used six subs. <laughs> um, but Liverpool are a good team, and we know that they're going to be uh, there at the end of the season again, and they're probably the team that we're going to have to beat to win the league championship.